schools in New Mexico, California, and Illinois have uh, made a move to ban Flaming Hot Cheetos from their campuses. Now, I remember when I was in school, uh, <laughs> Flaming Hot Cheetos was very popular. I used to have Flaming Hot Cheetos every single day. And I know that sounds disgusting, but I remember we used to dip it in Philadelphia cream cheese. Uh -huh. And it was, I don't know, I thought it tasted really good. But anyway, they've decided to ban it because it turns out that um, it, it's addictive, it's not good for your health, it's high in salt, yeah. it's not sodium. Good for your, not good for your health? I know, it's surprising. Huh. Who would have, you know. Who Thank would, God for science. Yeah, exactly. Um, so anyway, now doctors are behind this ban because they feel that uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos has actually led to an increased amount of unnecessary emergency room visits. Mm -hmm. So what ends up happening is these kids will eat, you know, just a ridiculous amount of the Flaming Hot Cheetos, and then they'll realize that their stool is red. Yeah. Okay. And they'll think that they're bleeding. Yeah. That they're, you know, their fecal matter has. They're shitting blood. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So their parents will freak out. They'll rush them over to the emergency room, and then they do tests on the fecal matter and realize that no, you just had too many Flaming Hot Cheetos. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love. I love the, the possibilities here. You either have the parents being vigilant enough to actually ask the kid, hey, so what color is it coming out? <laughs> or the kid like walks out of the bathroom with the pants around the ankle saying, mom, look what happened. Um, I don't get a lot of this. Um, I don't get Flaming Hot Cheetos ever. I don't understand the appeal. I actually up into, I don't know, there's a song Hot Cheetos and Takis. I didn't even know what a Taki was until recently. I guess I eat candy. Candy's always done me pretty well. Um, I think that it's interesting though that it doesn't, the, the parents aren't like driven to action by the kids having like a BMI in the high 20s, low 30s from eating all this junk food all day. But the red shit, <laughs> gotta take them to the hospital. What mm -hmm. do you guys think about the Hot Cheetos ban uh, in schools? Do you think couldn't that it you, makes sense? Couldn't you just send a letter to the parents like don't rush your kids to the hospital? Well, that's not the main reason why they're banning okay. it. They're not banning um, it because of the red stool. They're banning it because it's not healthy. It's contributing to childhood obesity. What are your thoughts? I'm generally somewhat in favor of schools controlling like uh, soft drinks and things like that. I, I don't think that it's going to accomplish the mission by itself. I think that the problem is they go home and their parents are shoveling terrible food into them. And that that trains them to think that that's a normal diet. And that's why, for instance, I eat the way I do, even at my age. Um, right. So I'm kind of in favor of it. I feel like with, I'm in favor of kids eating healthier, uh, but this is kind of a difficult thing to achieve because first it was the soft drinks, but the soft drinks aren't the only, you know, it isn't the only thing that's contributing to childhood obesity. I mean, I remember the cookies, the ice cream. Yeah. There's so many fatty foods on campus, so you're just going to ban First everything. they came for the Cheetos and I said nothing. And then when they came for my Takis, there was no one left to defend me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and by the way, if you send your kid to these schools with the Cheetos, they will confiscate them. They Any kid with like a little bit of like like orange dust on his lips, like that's a rebel. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, hey, hey, dude, I got some Cheetos in my backpack. You want to go behind the building?